My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. I just made my way to the top of this mountain and already my plans have been thrown completely out the window. So check this out. My plan was to hike up here to the top of this mountain and from here I was going to go off trail and we were going to go up and explore what I thought was an old path that I discovered some time back. It was last year, I was up here on this mountain and I found what looked like an old trail but I didn't have time to explore it. So with this trip, I was going to come back and follow that trail to see where it goes, if anywhere. But oh no, that's not possible today. It is quite foggy. I'm not sure if the camera really shows it, but it's foggy. At the same time, it's very windy and it's raining. Also, I'm hearing thunder. The thing is this, the temperature is quite low. Right now it's about 36 degrees, which is pretty funny considering the fact that you can drop roughly 2,000 feet in elevation and it's over 50 degrees. As you all can see here, the trail is flooded. That's from the rain that has fallen today. The funny thing about the weather is this, the forecast for today, there was no chance of rain, none at all. I'm sure you've heard the saying before, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that is true. What am I doing here? I need to figure that out. Hmm. I'm so glad that I planned for those what if scenarios with this trip because in more than one way, I could have been screwed. For an example, I brought with me a wood stove to cook lunch on but now everything in the forest is soaking wet. Luckily, I brought a solid fuel stove with me, so I'm set, I'm okay. If I didn't bring that stove with me, I wouldn't be having lunch today. To share with you all briefly what I was going to do for this trip, it was last year, I was hiking up in these mountains here. I was off trail, there's no trails out here. There's not supposed to be. Anyways, as I was hiking up this mountain, I came across basically a trail. It could have been a game trail, but the thing is this, along that trail, all of the trees had been pushed over. It was really strange actually, all in a straight line of sorts. I mean, it looked like a direct path through the forest. It was really unusual. It was a rather strange find in the forest because it wasn't like I took a trail to get there. I was just off trail, hiking through the woods, and I came across it. On a day with better weather, we'll go up there and we'll find it. We'll track it and we'll see where it goes. What I need to do now is find a place to set up a tarp. As far as the hiking goes, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to head up any further in the mountain. It's definitely foggy up there for sure. Plus, I don't want to get too off trail with a big storm coming in. That thunder, it's definitely rocking out there. Okay, 
I'm going to look around here just a bit and see if I can't find, well, a perfect spot doesn't exist, but I could find something that will work. This is one option here, but let's see if we can't find something a little bit better. Something like this would be nice. I can use this rock, I can cook on it, sit on it, but as far as the tarp goes, here, there, down to the ground. <laughs> It'll be sloppy, but I can make it work. It sounds like that storm is going around us. At least for the time being, it's not raining, so, well, I mean, it's dripping, but it's not really coming down. We'll pull back the hood here and listen for a second. It's important every so often that you stop and listen, like really, really listen. Take your rain gear, pull it back, just listen for a second, see what's out there. Having a hood on does a good job of sort of muffling everything. It's all about situational awareness and being safe. Even with all of this rain, I could burn this. The only thing is, is that I'm basically soaking my hands, my gloves, while gathering this wood. It's things like that that you have to think about. You have to think about the pros and cons of your actions, the repercussions. Like say, if my hands get cold, my gloves get wet, what am I going to do later? So on and so forth. These are things that you just have to consider. That'll do. It sounds like the rain is back. <laughs> Luckily, everyone, we have a dry place to chill. This, everyone, is not bad. Not bad at all. 
underneath the tarp, fully protected. Let's go ahead and fire up the solid fuel stove. I thought about collecting some firewood. It could be done, but because it's getting so late in the afternoon, I don't want to get soaking wet. Because the hike out here is so long, that wouldn't be a good idea, especially with temperatures beginning to drop now. As far as lunch goes today, real termat pasta bolognese. Here in a minute, we'll be making some cowboy coffee. I'm hearing more and more thunder now. I don't know, we'll see what happens. The one thing I know for certain is that it's getting really, really windy. Check that out, everyone. Hail. It just started hailing there for a second. I mean, for a literal second, and then it stopped. <laughs> Getting more hill, everyone. I tell you what, folks, this weather has been interesting. Every 10 minutes or so, it starts to hail. Let's eat. Folks, I'm starving. Basically, this is like spaghetti. And if you like spaghetti, it is amazing. By the way, I've spoken about real termat meals before and how they're hard to get in the United States. I've heard from another viewer who ordered these from Base Camp Foods here in the US and they received them. For whatever reason, some people get lucky and some people don't. I don't know how to explain it any other way. tell you what everyone while we're having lunch here let's talk about what's going on in the outdoor world here in the United States namely with the National Park Service you may have heard of this and you may not have but recently a law went into place basically that prohibits anyone from filming social media videos in national park areas basically the rule is this the law is this if you are putting it on a platform that generates income 
you have to get a special permit. You may be thinking to yourself, well, no big deal, just go get a permit. Well, it's not that simple. Let me tell you this, it is very expensive. First, there's an application fee. That can run from 110 up to $200. Then there's an admin fee permit fee. In some cases, you may be required to have liability insurance. The application itself is very intrusive. You have to submit your social security number to the National Park Service for this. If they do accept your application and you get a permit, it can take between 21 days to 45 days to get it. The thing is, you're not guaranteed a permit. They don't have to issue one, and the application fee is non-refundable. With these new laws, they specifically call out YouTubers TikTokers or whatever they call themselves. The price of each one of these steps is going to vary depending on the park that you want to go to. Again, there's an application fee, permit fee, admin fee, and there can be others. And they can require you to have liability insurance. At your least popular park, it may cost you $200. But at the most popular, could be three, four, five hundred dollars $500. Who knows? By the way, cheers my friends, cheers. Looks like the fog's coming in rather thick, so I'm going to put on a headlamp here. All of what I said so far absolutely sucks, but there's a potential that it could get much, much worse. The National Park Service is run by the Department of the Interior. So is BLM land, wilderness areas, recreation areas, and so on. There's a potential that all filming will be cut off from these areas, and you'll have to get a permit of sorts. I've watched a few videos about this on YouTube, including one featuring a lawyer. I will try to link all of these videos in the description box for you all. It sounds like that is a real possibility. Already, this law has impacted Susie and I's plans. We were about to leave on Sunday, the previous Sunday, to head to Texas and go to Guadalupe National Park and hike Guadalupe Peak. Luckily, that night, we received an email from a viewer, and he said, Luke, is this going to impact you in any sort of way? So Saturday night, about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I received this email, laying in bed, reading this, and I'm like, oh, we're not going to Texas. <laughs> I did send an email to the Guadalupe National Park Service in regards to this law. It took about seven days to get a reply, and they did confirm. You have to submit an application 21 days in advance. You have to pay the $150 application fee, and then all of the other fees that come afterwards. You have to also supply a full itinerary of your trip, the times, the dates, the vehicles you're driving, and so on. All of that really makes no sense for filming YouTube videos. For one thing, when it comes to filming a trip, it really is based on the weather. You try to wait for the best day, then go. So planning something in advance, I mean, that's just too much of a gamble. And you have to think about this. What about smaller YouTube channels who can't afford the permit, the application, admin fees, and so on? Ultimately, folks, what we can do is this. We can write our state representatives and let them know that this is nonsensical. In truth, it really is nonsense. Check this out. You can go to a state park. You can set up your tripod. You could take pictures and sell them. You don't have to have a permit. You go to a state park, set up your tripod, and film something. You have to. It makes no sense. Also, it tramples free speech. Ultimately, this law, I believe, will be overturned, but there's no telling how long that's going to take. So if you don't like it, write your representative. I already have enough said. I was sitting over there eating and I just saw this blonde looking thing in the forest. So there we go, that's what it is. I'll tell you what everyone, I love this place. It is so cool, so mysterious. The green forest. It has a very special place in my heart, that's for sure.
talking about the national park law, you may think that they won't prosecute anyone for this. If you think that, you're dead wrong. Already, one channel has been fined. I believe it was $1,000, and they've been banned from all national parks for life. Unfortunately, I don't know all of the details surrounding that, so I really can't comment on it. So I don't know if they knew of the law, decided to break it, and then they got fined, or they filmed something, didn't know it, then got fined. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, that's enough of that. Back to focusing on what we're doing here. As far as the time goes, it's now after 4 o'clock. It's getting dark. No more hail. That was surprising. I did not expect that. <laughs> I really didn't expect it for it to rain either. I am definitely surprised by that. That, my friends, is Mother Nature for you. Right there. It plays by its own rules, you know? That's why you have to be prepared for anything. You have to be prepared for everything. When you head out into the forest, it's your responsibility to do that. Last winter, there was a search and rescue operation done up here in the mountains. Basically, a group of people from Charlotte, I believe it was, they came up here to do a snow camping trip, but they didn't bring the right clothing. In the actual report for this search and rescue operation, the individual stated they were wearing blue jeans. So imagine, Hiking up there, sweating your brains out, your clothing soaking wet, the temperatures are super cold, so everything's frozen solid like ice. Then they couldn't figure out how to get off of the mountain. I know this sounds ridiculous, but this sort of stuff happens all the time. Well, I tell you what, everyone, I'm going to finish up my lunch here, pack everything up. We need to head off of this mountain. Already it's getting late. I'll be hiking in the dark by the time I get back to the vehicle. It's the right time to go. It is time to go, folks. I have everything packed up. Ready to rock and roll. It is still raining. It's not too heavy, but the fog has definitely thickened up some. Let's head off this mountain. <laughs> that was a good lunch. It was a good stop. Even though I didn't get to do what I wanted to, which was explore this mountain, we'll come back. We'll do it. The weather had different plans this time. That's okay. That is certainly how it goes. In the end, we had an amazing time on top of this mountain, or at least I did, and I hope you all did too. All right, everyone, this is where I'm going to say goodbye. I need to head off of this mountain, and the quickest way to do it is to go right through the forest. So I'm going to say goodbye here. I'll see you all again soon, strength and honor. Before you go, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. It helps the channel. My friends, take care, be well, strength and honor.